So I hopped on Shogun 2 for the first time in what seems like forever yesterday, and immediately I noticed and remembered two things about the game. The first thing I remembered was, this is really one of the most beautiful games I've ever played. I mean, if you look at the graphics, if you look at the level of detail on this guy right in front of you, this Yari Samurai here, this game is amazingly beautiful and well done. And it's something that I feel like I'm kind of la is kind of lacking on Rome 2. Now, I don't hate Rome 2. In fact, I've actually really been enjoying multiplayer recently. But I do feel, and I've said it before, that it lacks some polish that Shogun 2 had. And I feel like just looking at the unit tail, just looking at the maps, everything in general, I just think Shogun 2 is just such a beautiful game. And it's really, really hard to match or even come close to it. The other thing I remembered is that people used to bring, and still do bring, some of the cheesiest armies you will ever see in or encounter on any Total War game on Shogun 2. So, <laughs> I mean, you can already tell what's up going on here. It's cab spam, and to top it all off, I believe it's over here, Mounted Gunners, Donderbuss, and Yoritomo's Yabusume. So, we know what this guy's gonna be doing. I am gonna say his name right now, General 110. He was a rank 7 star. I don't... I mean, if you're gonna bring an army like this, like, I'm not gonna berate you, I'm not gonna hate on you, but I am gonna make fun of you. Like, when you're gonna bring an army like that and put all your guys in wedge formation, basically an entire cav spam with the whole premise of kiting with Donderbuss and matchlock cav, I'm gonna make fun of you. And so I decided I was gonna make this video. This is not a good battle. I mean, I think we can tell the kind of caliber player he is just by the fact that he has wedge formation, cavalry, at the start of the battle. By the way, if you are new to Shogun 2, do not do that. Do not use Wedge Formation ever for anything. It is pointless, useless, and bad. But, uh, so this was pretty funny. I mean, I saw the army set up, and I was kind of laughing about it, but then I realized I have a perfect, perfect army to counter it. If we go over my army setup, I have two Great Guard, some Katana Cav, a Yari Cav, a Melee General, and... Actually, two Yari Samurai as well as my infantry corps. So I've got Matchlocks and Yari Samurai, and two Yari Ashigaru as well. So he can't do anything to me with Cav, except use them to kind of chase me away and use his Mountain Gunners to shoot me. And if I play it right, or if he plays it poorly, which, by the way, he will, I'm going to be fine. So I am going to share this replay. Again, not a very good replay in terms of showing lots of skill or micromanagement or anything like that. I think it's worth sharing though just because it's funny and entertaining. I mean, I don't know how many really good Shogun 2 players are left in the game, how many are still playing, but I just thought, I mean, man, I just looked at the game and it was so beautiful and I just wanted to record something for the game because it really is, really is an amazing looking game. And I miss Shogun 2, honestly. Like, again, I've been enjoying Rome 2, but Shogun 2 will probably be my favorite Total War in the series. I mean, at the moment, it is my favorite in the series ever. But even maybe, hell, I don't know, like three or four games down the road, it might still be just because it was the first one that I actually jumped into multiplayer content on, and it's the one where we started our channel. So there's a special place in my heart for Shogun 2. There always will be. But with that said, I think we can start going over the replay now. So... The two matchlocks I brought, I brought a matchlock samurai and a matchlock warrior monk. Like I said, I have two Yari samurai, pretty decently upgraded, and all of this cavalry. So yeah, he spammed melee cavalry and then a couple range units as well, or range cav as well. But with the army setup that I have, I'm really not too worried about it. If we look at my great guard here, they have 29 attack. I can absolutely shred, shred units with these guys and the rest of my cav as well. So when I noticed that he had his katana cav over here all by themselves, I don't know what they're doing right now. Like, there wasn't a whole lot of units for him to micro, so I'm not sure why. I think he might have had them in a hard control group, and they kind of, when he moved them backwards, they kind of crossed over each other. And so hes they're not even going to run, and they're going to get caught right here. And katana cav locked in melee with great guard and yari cavalry, generally not a good idea. My great guard are going to get a nice hammer off there. And, well, right at the start of the battle, about 2,400 worth of Koku is down the drain. So, just gonna chase these guys off, make sure, try to make sure that they don't come back from routing. Really, really easy fight for my cavalry to take. And so, right off the bat, I'm already in, in pretty good shape. 
And I know it's a tough general there too, so I'm gonna chase him down with these Grey Guard right here. Do my best to get a lot of close ups this battle because, again, micromanagement was not the biggest factor of this battle. So he is gonna reinforce with some more of his cavalry. Over there, with my infantry, he is getting some shots off, but I'm just holding him at bay with my matchlocks. And again, more of his wedge formation cavalry coming in. These, this fire cow is actually decently upgraded. 17 attack, 10 defense. It's pretty good. So I'm going to hold them all down with this great guard right here. And then, of course, flank with the rest of my cavalry. Try to get a rear side charge off, which I will be able to do. Nice charge off there. A little bit of frame rate drop. And then one more charge from this katana cav. And just, they're so isolated at the moment that... Really, there's not a whole lot he can do at this point. Like, he can bring Kiyomasa Katana Cav over, and actually that is probably an interesting melee fight we can look at. He does have two of the hero cavalry. He has the, uh... I don't remember what it's called. It was basically the Great Guard Hero. And then the Kiyomasa Katana Cav. And I'm gonna get my general in there, too. I've really enjoyed the switch over to a melee general. Like, being able to bring them into melee and just use them in a cav fight and actually utilize them, I think, is a lot more fun than just plopping stand and fight and rally. So, certainly melee generals I don't think are as effective in some instances as a leader gen, but certainly I think they're a lot more fun. And so even this Kiyomasa's Katana Cav, which has 32 attack and 42 morale, is going to route. So, I mean, I already have cavalry, cavalry supremacy routing these guys. One of them came back from routing, and just over the all over the field, he's just kind of chilling. Don't really know what he was doing, but... <laughs> So now he is going to get, I've taken his Donner Bus down a lot with my own matchlocks. He's going to run forward with them, trying to get some pop shots off with them. But again, I have these matchlocks, which do outrange Donner Bus by a fairly significant margin. I believe 75 range is the difference between the two. So that guy just got pooped on, and the rest of his cab is going to crumble shortly here. So Donner Bus is off the field. He still has his mountain gunners. So... Ideally, what he would have wanted to do if he had used his cav effectively and used them all together is he would have killed my cav off and then just picked me apart with his remaining gun cav. He's not going to be able to do that though because like, like you've already seen, I've already taken over a ton of his cavalry and just killed a ton of his cav units. And even his mountain gunners, he's not microing properly. So they're going to get caught and lose a couple men. He's going to run away with those, so he has, he's only lost 7 men and has 130 kills, but most of those kills are on 99 attendance, so I'm not too worried about it. We're going to shift over here. My Great Guard, General, and some Light Cav are going to chase down his gen, and as you can see, he does have a Spears of Shizuka Take in Wedge Formation, just hanging out. Them and their awesome Spears. Pretty sure those are not historically accurate weapons, but they do look pretty good. And as soon as I killed this and his general, this battle will be pretty much over. They really do look awesome, though. Let's see if we can do a better... Oh, I'm so bad with camera work, guys. Madness does all this. <laughs> look at the level of detail. God, that's just so beautiful. Can't get over it. Okay, so Great Guard coming in here. Get a nice stationary charge off there, or charge on a stationary unit. And they've already lost five so far, completely surrounded. And then I am going to get my 26 attack katana cavalry into his general. He's going to go in a stand and fight, and I am going to kill him. And then his Yoritomo's Yabusuma is going to go into melee, and that shouldn't be too hard for my, uh, for my katana cav to close up. And really the only threat that he has left on the field is the mountain gunner, and so I'm going to pull my general and a great guard out of the melee fight. And kill that as well. So I know everybody, especially when mountain gunners first came out and Donnerbus first came out, everybody dealt with these kind of armies. And they are extremely difficult and annoying to play against if your opponent actually has good micro skill and understanding of what he's trying to do with that kind of spam. Fortunately, my opponent did not. He put them all in wedge formation and basically let me kill his cav and really do what I wanted to do. So it was not a hard battle, but I think it was worth showing just because it's funny to see mountain gunner and cavalry spammers lose. So I don't think we need to look at the statistics. It's not going to be very interesting. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed Shogun 2, and if you do want to see more Shogun 2 
please let me know. I will occasionally come back to this game. And, hell, if Rome 2 doesn't get better with each patch, then I might just permanently go back to it. I mean, I'll never permanently go back to it. There are plenty of Total War games in the series that I can play, and I am enjoying Rome 2 at the moment, but I think a nice, healthy mix is always a good thing. So if you want to see more of it, please let me know. Otherwise, Indie Pride, signing out.